Couple the RTRs BPFP payments with REX BPFP payments. Before switching on the air compressor, dry out air reservoir to eliminate moisture from it. After that, we need to on the main supply and check the voltage levels. Then turn on the air dryer and wait till the delay time completes. Then after, turn on the air compressor and wait for MR pressure to reach 7 kg per centimeter square. Now we have to check the moisture level before and after the air dryer with the help of hygrometer. The desired moisture level should be less than 60. We can see the difference here. Before charging the rack, we need to do non-written valve checking. For that, initially we need to charge BP and look the pointer in FP gauge. If the pointer shows 0 in FP gauge, then all the NRVs are in good condition. Then charge the FP to the rack. After pressure reaches to desired level, that is BP with 5 kg per centimeter square and FP with 6 kg per centimeter square in front and rear SLRs, then emergency valve in both the coaches should be checked. Now let's see how to take application and release time of DV from RTR. One technician sits at RTR and operates the ANIL valve for application. Simultaneously, another technician who absorbs the application at trolley and note the timing with the help of stopwatch. Likewise, release timing of the DV also observed and noted on DV. Also, we do testing of ACP with the help of spring balance and its limits are between 6.4 to 10 kgf. During the maintenance, the scotch blocks padlock key will be with rake supervisor. After completion of 6 hours pit maintenance, both stop board and scotch block should be removed.
By witnessing the pit rolling out by the staff, our whole rake maintenance comes to the end.